guys, so today I'm going to be looking at more psychological tricks here. Let's just get right into the video. I don't remember the official name, but I call it what colour is your shoe trick. The idea is that if a child is having a meltdown, you catch them off guard by throwing in a random question. Their brain has to shift gears away from the irrational melting down side and back to the rational, huh, what colour are my shoes? I've used it, it works great. I feel like this is good advice, you know? Man, I feel like this even works with like adults. <laughs> like if I was crying and someone asked me a question, I would answer that question. <laughs> Because I feel like my brain would just be like, yeah, I'm sad, but what did you say? If you tell someone you need help, they are more likely to do what it is you want or need, rather than telling them to just do it. Hey little Jim, when you get done dinner, I need your help in the kitchen. Little Jim, okay dad, shows up, tell him you're loading the dishwasher, put a couple of plates in and he'll help and then thank him after. Versus, little Jim, after dinner you need to do the dishes. Oh, yeah. That just sounds very demanding. It's not very appealing to the ears, okay? Whoa, thinking back about it, my dad used to do this a lot. Like, if he was outside and he needed help outside, he would just be like, hey, can you come outside for a bit? And I'd be like, why? And he'll be like, I'll tell you when you're outside. And then obviously I go outside and then he's like, I need help with this. And I'm like, okay, because I can't just go back inside, you know? I mean, I could, but then I can't just be like, no, I go back inside because that's rude. If you're at a house party holding a bottle of beer, don't hold it up high close to your chest. Instead, hold it lower down below your hip. Oh, so instead holding it here, you hold it down. Oh, wow. I guess that's the same with like crossing your arms, right? Because I heard that if you cross your arms, it just feels like you don't want to open up and people avoid you because you look stern you know and just steady <laughs> but if you don't cross your arms people are more likely to go up to you or something <sighs> the body language can do a lot people will usually correct incorrect information example hey i just found your stuff in your ex but my stuff are in my y oh so they get them to admit it because obviously they know in their mind where it is but they don't realize that the person is just testing them. Get people to contribute to an idea and they will be more likely to accept it. Oh, because it's like they were a part of the idea. So they were like, mm, yes, this is a good idea. <laughs> because obviously if you are a part of the idea, you don't want to reject it because you were a part of it. You know, you don't want to reject yourself. If someone you like is talking, keep your eyes on their face, but at least once look at the lips, just long enough to see the shape of the top lip. Then go back to eye contact. Oh. Whoa, whoa, why is my heart fluttering? <laughs> oh, wow. Let's say you want to play rock, paper, scissors and win. Another rock, paper, scissors psychology trick. If when you ask a person to play, you hold your hand in the shape of scissors and shake it up and down so they see it. The person you are playing will more likely choose rock on the first glance because they think you will pick scissors. Oh. I don't know why I got confused for a second. So I'm assuming when you ask the person whether they want to play, you're like, you want to play rock, paper, scissors? Mmm, interesting. You can't blink and smile at the same time. Tell them that if you want someone to smile. <laughs> that is so cute. That's adorable. In my experience with retail, a little kid who won't let go of a toy will happily just hand it over if you say, wow, that's really cool. Can I see? Oh, true. The parents spend ages trying to tell the kid, no, hand it over. And suddenly this trustworthy person in uniform says, my toy is neat, take it dude. I feel like it's because the kid realizes that they have like the same taste in interest or something. And they're like, yeah, look, isn't this cool? So maybe that's why. My party trick, tell someone you want to play invisible go fish. Mime dealing out cards to both players. Hold your cards up to imitate a hand of cards and get them to do the same. Ask if they have any eight, respond accordingly. Then let them take a turn. Take two or three turns back and forth. Make sure you sometimes tell them go fish and sometimes you mime handing them a card. After a few rounds on your turn, say do you have any and try to pick at their non-existent hand of cards. They will try to hide it. Then you can say what are you hiding? The cards aren't real. <laughs> That's actually funny. Mm. How dare you try to look at my invisible cards? I work in retail so I like to mimic their movements. It usually adds to bigger and better sales. Wait, what do you mean mimic? Like if they say, what do you have? I do, I have this. <laughs> Wait, is that what? 
If you are trying to reassure a person, never say everything will be fine. A person understands that everything will be fine in the future, but he expects a result at the moment. So it's better to support him otherwise. What do you say then? <laughs> you can't just give this advice and not tell us what to say. I guess from what I've learned, you just, you know, understand them and be like, you know, I understand what you're worried about. Maybe that. If you want someone to confess to something, accuse them of something much worse. They'll admit to the minor transgression to avoid the major one. Wow, some detective work. Don't ask your girlfriend slash partner wife what she wants for dinner because more often than not the response will be, I don't know, you choose. Instead, ask her, where do you think I'm taking you for dinner? She'll more than likely give you a response. Tell her she's right and take her wherever she said. So smart! Because I guess most of the times they will say their favorite place. Eye contact can make anybody back down no matter how angry they are. Eye contact in tense situations is like saying, I'm not afraid of you. And in a lot of conflicts, the person is just trying to scare you into submission. Looking them in the eyes makes a second guess and you usually will come out unscathed. Whoa! Yeah, just be like... <laughs> well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!